Marty, Colby, are you guys ready to trash a hotel room? Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 4 of Rising Star 2. Uh, we are Celtic Lipstick and uh, we are on the way up. So just checking out our band info, 2.31 popularity in the U.S. We've only toured here in Georgia so far, but we have a solid 1.2 or higher in all four cities that we have been involved in. Uh, you can see our relationships, our attitude compatibilities are pretty solid. I mean, you know, they are meh, but I mean, at least they don't hate each other, right? Uh, taking a look at our song list, I have been writing songs. Uh, Joyce Says I'm Frigid is our best quality song. We've trained it up, and uh, that's a low energy song. Bedroom Math, uh, we've played that one in a couple of gigs. We just wrote Something Rejects Me recently. We've got that trained up. And a, uh, a Flat Earth song. His house sits on the edge. Uh, we just wrote that, but still, uh, we've only practiced it once, but we do not have time to do that much one day before we get into some gigs. Taking a look at our gig calendar, uh, we do have uh, some gigs in Atlanta, Columbus, Macon, Athens, and Atlanta coming up here over the next few weeks, over the next month. So we'll do mostly gigs this episode, uh, checking them out. A lot of these are battles. Some are not. Some of these are gigs that we booked in hopes just getting our popularity up to be able to compete in these battles. Uh, I have done two other battles. Uh, we ended up finishing second in one of them and third in another, and they were at the lower end battles that we had won previously remember we won three battles uh we took a look at that last episode don't forget if you like what you're seeing here hit the like button subscribe to the channel and let's hear what you guys have to think uh again if you do live in macon which is our hometown uh in the game uh and you know any hotels motels record store uh, music stores whatever let me know in the comments and i'll try to rename them in the game uh so let's pop in here we took a job here uh from the other from a hotel and they want us to go trash this hotel room so the way this works is you have to do a set amount of damage and then they pay you double that. Now, they don't pay you for the check-in. That's out of your pocket. So, But you know, if you do $1,000 worth of damage, they give you $2,000 in cash. You just want to make sure you've got enough money to cover it. Uh, so here we are. First thing I'm going to do in here is, well, I can't, I can't save because I didn't buy it. Well, yeah, I did. I should be able to save. Not sure why I can't. Oh, well. All right, so... We have to do at least $300 worth of damage. Well, you know what? There's the TV. That's $500. Oh, broke the chair. And you can see we do get a little bit of happiness and inspiration from this as well. Uh, two for one special picture and lamp. all the way into the bathroom there and let's crack that so we did nine hundred and ten dollars worth of damage so we'll go ahead and leave we'll head back to the other hotel here real quick i really wanted you guys to see us just trash the hotel room because that's metal and uh, a lot of fun too and that's one thing you can do to get your inspiration up it does cost you money unless you're doing it on somebody else's dime and let's see 1820 bucks boom those are always nice to get let's see we did our job today back to the hotel back to the house there's our our three trophies that's nice nothing to repair 
And we're going to go ahead and just practice that song. And you can see I went from 10 to 45. So that's 35 points. Now, you got to remember, that was because we're only doing one song. Now, what skills this up is your playing ability. And once you get to 50, again, you can learn a, multiple songs in about three days. So you can see all the rest of our songs are maxed out. We have uh, 11 shirts in stock. So I think we're going to go ahead and buy some more shirts just to have those ready. Let's run over by the printers. Now, once you have done various designs, there's also an option in here to pick which shirt you want. But uh, let's do uh, let's do 50. And all I did here is I clicked in the box and then you can type it in. So now we've got 91 shirts in stock. Uh, we're still giving them away. We have not recorded any music. I'm really not going to record anything until we get uh, big enough to, you know, really get something out of it. Buying clothes, of course, you can also um, get inspiration from that. And speaking of that, I bought each one of them a new piece of clothing. I was going to go mow the cemetery because that's good for like $350, but um, couldn't even see it on the map because we're in Atlanta, big city. And you can see in the top left corner of the mini map is where the green and yellow star are. So that's where we're heading. While we're here, let's run through here and see if there's just anything that we can pick up. Again, I only buy stuff when it's dirt cheap, when it's damaged, almost beyond repair, when it's in red, basically. Uh, I don't buy anything yellow because you'll never recoup your money doing that. And of course, the discount has the lower end and you can see the prices jumped up dramatically here. So we will buy a couple of things here. No, no, I'm just browsing, sir. Don't worry about it. You think you can slip that drum kit under your skirt there, Joyce? Give it a shot. Uh, let's see. Do we want that one, that one, or... Ooh, that would actually be a complete upgrade kit. Let's buy that one. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and repair that since you're going to use that. I normally wouldn't, but we have a gig tonight. We don't want this thing to break down in the middle of the gig. Well, the problem is, you know what? No, I'm not. I don't want to spend 2100 bucks on that. So what I'm going to do here, we need any equipment. You've got three sets of strings. You've got four. And you, need, you have a, a replacement set of cymbals. You've got another drum head. And you've got four sets of sticks when the ones that we have run out. So you're good. You're good. Here's another deluxe music. Oh yeah, a couple more guitars. And remember the uh and you could just to take a look, remember in episode one, I said I talked about you know what instruments were the easiest ones to find. Uh but let's take a look. So uh four hundred and thirteen dollars in personal cash. He's got sixty-two, seven twenty-four. Uh yep, go ahead and buy that one. And he's got 2800 now he doesn't ever have to buy anything except for you know if i want to do an upgrade but there's you know he doesn't have to replenish drummers have the biggest overhead because of their symbols especially but symbols drum heads sticks they've got three perishable items they've got to buy so really want to build up their money and you get to a certain point and you don't need to do that anymore and once we start getting good gigs and, you know, making several thousand dollars a night, we won't need to do that anymore at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out. Also, one thing I want to double check. So we're at the club, The Fierce Writing, uh, 600 capacity. 
There's a short sleeve t-shirt. Look at that. Celtic lipstick 2006. Gotta love that. She's wearing a Celtic lipstick shirt. Our fans are in attendance tonight and representing. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, thank you, girls. Oh, we appreciate that. Appreciate you wishing us luck. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for this other battle. Remember, as long as you're signed up for them in advance, you can still do them and help your reputation, your popularity. All right, taking a look up here, notice in the positive attitudes, there's one called high energy. That is not high energy dance music. What that means is uh, in high energy songs will drain more of the band of the audience energy than normal. So instead of taking maybe three songs to go from 100 to zero, it'll only take two. And you'll notice that's why I only have two high energy songs there. Now I'm gonna clear the set list. We have one high popular, one so not high popularity, one song that has any popularity. I always try to lead off with that song just to get the bang. Now also wanna always check and make sure that we don't have any orange over here. If you're touring a state with orange, take that song, put it in your archive because the playing ability drains slower when it's in the archives. All right, so we're gonna start there and then I wanna go with our maximum. So we're gonna op uh, put uh, the smoke in the stall that's an educational song about smoking in the bathroom at school. Uh, we are going to go, Joyce says I'm frigid in uh, the rebound spot. I need a pencil in me, bedroom math, and Sheila slays penguins. I think that's good. Let's get out there. Celtic lipstick at the Fierce Writing Club. Let's rock it, boys. Now notice they've changed clothes from what they were in a moment ago, right? There I am putting some stage moves on. All right, 44 audience interest, 42 energy, and we were moderately entertained. Now, it was a sellout, 600 people, only 20 of our fans in attendance. But remember, this wasn't a battle of the bands. This was just trying to build our fan base because uh, we do have some upcoming battles in this city. And we gave away 44 shirts. Thank goodness we picked a few up, but you notice we only have 47 left. So we're going to probably want to, if we can give away 40 to 50, we probably need to carry a couple of hundred on us now. Uh, we do need to head to Columbus, but I do want to pop into a motel here because now we have three people with, well, you know what? Let's wait. Let's wait till after the gig tomorrow night. We'll drive all the way to Columbus. And you can see we have a mowed yard right here. So we can go out and busk, do our job for the day. Even when you're traveling, even if you don't get to playing, we're making a little money and that'll pay for the gas that it costs to drive to that city. Maintaining your overhead, right? got to have some business sense. I don't think any of our band members have business sense, but we'll try. We'll try. Hopefully we can get a good manager that'll look out for us. All right, the adaptable blow, 600 capacity. How y'all doing? Uh, this is just the, the pre-show meet and greet. That's a dude. Looked like a chick. Okay, I was confused for a second. Over there, hey, I appreciate that, young lady. All right, nobody wearing our shirts. We don't have any reputation here. Let's get out here. It is a battle of the bands. A uh, couple of the bands have three popularity. We only have a 2.3. It's going to make it harder to win this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something different. I'm going to start off with that and we're going to leave joyce says i'm frigid out of the rotation i don't know if this is going to work it probably won't but they're all positive attribute songs yep yeah, let's give it a try 
All right. We really need to win some of these to advance to the next, you know, out of early game and into, into mid game. Oh, that's going to work fine. And it got us up to 46% audience interest. We didn't bottom out at all, so that's great. No, nah, not horrible. Not horrible. Remember, we don't have any fans here, and we finished third. Uh, deafening units beat us to the punch. Uh, there's a curse word to describe you. Did gain a little popularity. We gave away 41 more shirts and picked up some relationships. So all in all, not a lost cause. So let me do this. Uh, I should have just went straight. You don't know where you're driving, Marty. Come on. All right, let's get home. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording here. I'll come back for this coming Friday, and I'll do all this, you know, during the week stuff uh, off camera. So I'll see you guys right back. All right, guys, we are back here on gig day. It's Friday, March 17th. Uh, I've gone out and done my busking today. I'm currently at the music store selling some gear. Uh, I wanted to point out, I just sold uh, an amplifier, I believe. Well, I don't know which one it was, but this amp here, if we look at it, has a plus four for stage presence. The one I sold had a plus three, and I wanted to sell it now to make money. As we get deeper into the game, assuming we hit it reasonably big and make make any type of money, you know, several hundred thousand dollars uh, at, at some point, then we'll actually want to start keeping backup gear, like a backup guitar, backup bass. And that way, when if your guitar breaks a string, you don't lose any time. You could just grab another instrument and keep playing. So a backup microphone, backup amps. So that would be a good backup amp. To where we don't lose much we lose one stage presence but you know we can jump right into it uh, without a backup amp it could end the concert so you know that's something to think about but right now money is more important than than backup gear so we're not going to worry about that it was just something i wanted to toss out there all right, what else? All right, you've got a drum head. You've got two drum heads. All right, we got some backup cymbals, four sticks. Okay, just making sure she's good to go for the gig. All right, there's another keyboard. All right, so we're good to go there. Uh, taking a look at our song list, we've written some more songs. Uh, I changed the horizon. Um you guys should have seen most of these, we, but we've written a couple. We've, uh, but I changed the horizon. We've just gotten that up to 90, not quite a hundred percent, but it's high enough to, uh, to go ahead and throw in the rotation in our set list if we want to. All right. Heading to the gig, Marty, you know where you're going, right? We let Marty drive the van, the musical animal. He's pretty hard on those brakes, you know, do a lot of bouncing. I think he does it so he can watch us jiggle a little bit. What a pervert. All right, but let's see. Any of our fans in attendance? Ooh, we've got wealth coming up the pipe. That's new. So let's see. All right, I just changed her to technology because that was upcoming. All right, so what was it? Wealth. Wanted to make sure I remembered. Uh, so let's get rid of law and order and bring in wealth. And we'll get rid of education and bring in wealth. And that way we start writing lyrics that are about that. And we're ahead of the curve. And this is why you kind of want to, you, you know, you want three to five songs in each category. If you can, may not be possible. Ooh, let me that up just a little bit i don't mind you seeing the tip of it but did i say that all right let's play our gig uh double checking we are still high energy uh let's check our qualities all right we're gonna drop there's a curse word and we're gonna bring in i changed the horizon it's one of our better songs and i'm gonna go ahead and pop it up there I'm going to drop pencil down to here and 
Gila Slays Penguins into the encore spot. Uh, you can see here, we probably shouldn't win this at all. The low shades, 15 popularity, how they're still in. Oh, this is a gig. I'm sorry. This is not a battle of the bands. So we're opening. This is what you want to do when you're opening for somebody. We've got a 2.31. Touring with a band, being an opening act for a band that has like a three doesn't do much for us, but we've got a band with a 15 and another one with a six. Those are going to draw in a lot of fans, and that is where we're going to be able to ooh, make some more fans. Let me back out of here real quick. I forgot to buy those t-shirts, and we're down to just a handful and in a big gig like this, we want to be able to maximize our ability. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy 500 shirts there. And I probably will want more than that. All right, sounds like my granddaughter is up and moving around. So I will try to get them to hold it down. I do have a conference call in a little while as well. So... Yep, I figured that out. All right, we're going to play the gig. We already set the set list. So let's start the gig. And there we go. All right, so uh, the keyboard uh, had a bad cable. We don't have a tech, so we've got to get rid of a song. Let's drop uh, Penguins. Now that does hurt us with the interest level. Nothing we could have done there. But it was a sellout, 300 fans. We gave away nine shirts. Now you see we lose happiness. So when something negative happens, it can impact the band. We should gain that back pretty easily, but happiness can start cutting into your attitude compatibility. So that's something we want to avoid. All right, we're heading to Macon, Georgia for tomorrow's gig. That's uh, that's here. Yeah, that's here. So let's go home. That was just a good opportunity to play a gig with a really high popularity band, at least at our level, right? Let me run through the uh, repairs here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish out my repairs. I didn't have enough points yesterday. So we'll finish that out to where the gear's maxed up. Now you can't do that on the road. You cannot do that on the road. Only in your house can you repair. So you'll want to buy more houses in various parts of the country if you can, right? But right now, not an option, not an option. getting the busking done, making a little bit of cheddar. And just to double check, we are at the mental porter. And I believe, I don't remember if this one's a battle or not. It should be. I know it's a club, but again, I, I was also trying to book gigs to build up our, our fan base where we could compete in these battles. Doesn't do us any good to go if we're not going to be competitive. But I've got several of them lined up here over the next couple of weeks. Keep the energy up. And some of the things that they say in the game like that, if you keep the audience energy up, that is going to help you uh, long term. So, and this is not a battle. So we're playing with the Annoyed Bunny. They've got a nine popularity. So this will be another good opportunity for us to attain some new fans and you've noticed i have sped it up to four times and that's okay and you just really want to try to get over 50 if you can but you know 47 they were moderately entertained we had six fans in attendance out of the 700 62 shirts though that's going to be a huge help to us complete huge help and uh, I tell you what, let's go ahead and end the episode there. I'll do another week uh, at uh, you know all the little nuanced stuff. If you have any questions on those things, ask in the comments, and I'll 
reply, but I'll probably try to mention it in the next episode. Uh, but we do have uh, a couple of gigs next weekend in Athens. Uh, that one is a battle of the bands. And right now we're only competing against one band there. And we're the only band there. That would be great to get a free win. And we're the only band there. Now there's still a couple of weeks, so odds are we'll end up with at least some, with that with some competition. Guys, thanks so much for rocking out with me. We'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on rocking. We'll see you next time. Bye.